also another thing you want to do is humidity. If you can, those specific types of tortoises, like the redfoot, are really going to get that benefit from having humidity in their enclosure. So you want to have, you know, like a good amount, maybe even cypress mulch specifically, that really tends to hold moisture in. And um, you're going to give them a good source of water. And you're going to just make sure that, you know, you can take them outside, but if you take them outside, you're going to want to make sure that you supervise them, being so little. And you're going to maybe put them out in like a little, um, if you have a little outside enclosure, like a rabbit hutch would be great. And then at nighttime, you're probably going to want to bring it inside because of predators. You know, you do have possums that come out, raccoons that will come out, snakes as well. But in general, as long as they have what they need, UV radiation, you want to give them you know, proper nutrition, give them their salads, provide them with a little bit of water that they can drink as well, and that humidity is going to just kind of round it out for them. Um, can they make them well, specifically, this one tortoise right here is federally protected, so we're not supposed to have any of them as pets. You cannot own a gopher tortoise, though. but there are certain like non-native species that people will take in. We even have some non-native, uh, like yellowfoot, redfoot tortoises that are owned. And really, it's not something you're going to go out and just get a tortoise per se. But um, if you have them at your house, they really will grow as long as you give them the right, you know, temperature, humidity. You're going to give them sunlight as well and the right food. So where would you find them? Where would you find them? Well, you mean where would you live? Or more so where you're going to find them? Where are you going to find them? Where are you going to find them? So I specifically am not sure if you can find those specific type of tortoises at like the pet shop, which really they're not going to have they're going to have more desert tortoises. Specifically, anybody who takes them in would be somebody most likely that works around the town, and they do require them and have um, you know, many babies that they will give to you. So, do they like water? Well, actually, many of them will get the water from the food that they eat, like from the veggies and fruits. But, um, this certain species right here, which is a native species to Florida, is a gopher tortoise, and really they are more terrestrial. So they like to kind of dig a little bit more down in dens, not so much, they cannot swim, so they're going to do kind of a little bit more of a bobbing, floating type thing. So really, if you ever come across one of these guys, you're not really supposed to touch it anyway, but uh, never ever try to just put them in water. They're not swimming turtles, not water turtles. As you can see, he's very attracted to a lot of the veggies that you can see that he's eating, especially the red vegetables and fruits.
have a great day.